Thank you Rust Chance for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out the top link in the description and use code Burrito for a free 50 cents on their site. In Rust, your life is often meaningless and the game is more focused on your loot, base, and friends you meet along the way. Although this day, I wanted to change that and play the game differently. I would fresh spawn on a vanilla server and see how much I could snowball in just one life. Although before any of the action happens, I had to farm up for some grub gear. Now that I had recycled, I went to the nearby bandit camp to craft a double barrel shotgun. After hearing the C4, I went to investigate with my freshly crafted DB. Realizing that there was no way I would be able to get into the raid without making noise, I rushed to hold the roof as fast as I could. This would allow me to hold the raider inside or wait and sneak in through the peak downs. Now gaining the MP5 gear set and taking control of the raid, I went to go break the ladder leading to the roof, so I would 100% hear if one was placed or someone was trying to jump up. I could see that the base had half walls, so I jumped into the peak downs to retrieve the road sign kit. I heard the raider coming back to camp the exit of the raid, so I quietly left the base from a different side to get the jump on him.
Unfortunately, the player that I sprayed at decided to run into his base instead of fighting, so I went to stash my extra gear sets. I heard more C4 coming from the same direction I just came from, so I went to go counter again. In this moment, I thought I had a chance to instant kill him, so I shot, but missing, I repositioned and used the Dark of the Night to my advantage. Instead of pushing the body in case his base could see it or he had a teammate, I made a big circle and got to full health before I went to loot his kit. I pushed into the base to see if there was any more loot left. I only looted guns in this situation because I didn't need any of the gear sets in the base or hazmats, but I unfortunately didn't see that he broke the tool cupboard and I didn't check it. Now that he was roof camping off of his base, I left as fast as possible using the rocks as cover because I was only coughing in helmet, which is one shot to a bolt most of the time. I farmed up for a 1x1 one one to store my newfound weapon in it. After setting up my 1x1, one one, I went to go retrieve my stashes. The next morning, I took my MP5 to go build another small base on a more populated area on the map because my 1x1 one one was on a small isolated peninsula. Since I had killed this player in a pretty dense forest, I walked around the body and checked all the angles that I thought someone could be hiding in before I went to loot. Then I used his chainsaw to farm her for a small base. After finishing the base, I was on my way walking back to my old 1x1 to get the rest of my guns and loot, but I heard a chainsaw cutting down trees.
I played this fight super safe waiting for them to push me and using the rocks as cover to my advantage. This allowed me to only get hit once while I was fighting three people at a time. I heard rockets in the distance, so I went to investigate. I knew that my gun was about to break, so I pushed him, knowing this would most likely lead to my demise. I didn't want to back off when I was so close to success. Unfortunately, that's just how Rust is sometimes. Sometimes someone gets the better of you, even if you have more experience, or the game just doesn't go your way. Although in no way would I call this challenge a failure. I snowballed solo all the way from rock to full gear in the span of nearly an hour in one continuous life. I truly enjoyed playing the game like my life was the only thing I cared about and not my gear or how much loot I had on me. Thank you for watching.